Hey guys, I'm Jay Holy from Photo Factor. Welcome to Chapter 7, Part 2 in this series of learning how to work with brushes and color in Photoshop. In this session, I'm going to show you how to make use of the foreground and background color option function in Photoshop. So there are a number of ways or, or rather tools or functions within Photoshop that make use of choosing the foreground and even the background color in Photoshop, such as the brush tool, the shape tool, even the text tool. So just to give you a bit of a, an overview of what we're talking about, let's dive straight in. Right, so the first thing I need to bring your attention to is down here, as we mentioned in the previous session, is the foreground color box. There are a number of different ways to set the foreground which will foreground color, which we'll look at on later. But for now, let's just choose a simple way by using the, the eyedropper tool, which is here in the tools bar. And we click on that and we just head on over to the image and we select a color that we would like to play with. Let's say this nice deep purple over here. And notice that the white here has switched over to that dark purple. Any, it's the same applies to any color I choose. Notice how the that swatch changes color no matter where I click. And so now if we go over to the brush tool and we start painting over our image, it will make use of that color that we referenced from the balloon. Right, and so now the next thing I need to bring your attention to is the background color option, which in this case on my side here is set to black. It could be something different on your machine. And this doesn't come into play too often, but what the one area where it does is when you make use of the gradient tool. Let me just show you that quickly. You'll see if I go to basics, the, the basic settings of gradient. The color option it's giving me here is from the pink, which I selected a moment ago, to that black. And that's one way in which the background color comes into play. Let's just head on back to the brush tool. And then so another way in which the background color is useful is just to have another color on hand to be able to switch between quickly and easily. And the way you just change these two around is to click on this little icon over here and notice how it toggles between the foreground and background colors. So let's switch, make the black as the foreground color. We don't want to be painted with black, we prefer a different color. So let's go back to the eyedropper and we can now pick the small purpley color over here. You'll see here, I have the option between pink and purple to toggle between. And now if I click on the brush tool and paint somewhere on the image, I've got that option available to me. So black and white are the default colors. And if I want to revert back to that, there's two ways I can do that. I can either hit D on my keyboard or I can head over to this little icon over here. If I click on that, we have now reverted back to the default settings. Let's just go back up here to file and revert to restore the image back to the original. And so that's just an overview of where to store and access colors in Photoshop. In our next tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of selecting colors to work with. If you found value out of the session, please do give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you at the next session. See you there.